It is our great pleasure uh, to be hosting uh, this evening's launch uh, for the 2010 Lyft Festival. Uh, I've been the High Commissioner here now for going on four years. Uh, we have been as a family, my wife and I, uh, Donna is a, uh, a trustee of Lyft. Uh, I'm not a trustee, I feel as though I am a trustee. <laughs> uh, and uh, it's been thrilling uh, to be associated with this project uh, and to see it uh, coming uh, just uh, alive uh, and I know uh, because I've had some of the inside scoop uh, in terms of the program for 2010 that it's going to be a very, very special year. Uh, the arts broaden horizons and sustain the spirit, uh, but they also stimulate new ideas and raise aspirations. They educate. Centuries of intercultural exchange and population movements have shaped our collective culture and intellectual tradition. And they've helped to develop our sense of identity and community. By exposing us uh, to work uh, we would not otherwise see, in three weeks of inspiring programming across London, this year's Lyft offers unique opportunities for building international understanding and enhancing our knowledge of the world around us. I am, and you won't be surprised to hear this, uh, particularly pleased uh, that there's going to be such a strong Canadian showing uh, at this year's festival uh, with works of remarkable scale and range. A mammalian diving reflex, I have to practice that three or four times, <laughs> saying, saying it quickly. Mammalian diving reflex from Toronto is presenting uh, haircuts by children where children are trained to cut adults' hair. Donna has, uh, has suggested that I should participate in this one this year, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, and uh, I should also say that, uh, that actually I had heard of a mammalian diving reflex uh, before uh, the Lyft Festival because we have a, we have a family uh, that has been involved with uh, the arts for many, many years and our niece uh, has worked in the past with Malian Diving Reflex in Toronto, so really looking forward to seeing that one. Uh, but Catalyst Theatre Company's uh, Nevermore, a multi-award winning gothic fantasy about Edgar Allan Poe, uh, which is to be presented at The Guardian, sounds terrific. I can wear my gothic outfit uh, that, uh, uh, that uh, we got just last week. Uh, 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 Rimini Protocol's Best Before, uh, created with non-professional performers from Vancouver and recently premiered as part of the Cultural Olympiad uh, at the Winter Olympics uh, in, in Vancouver and Whistler. And in collaboration with Diaspora Dialogues, at the start of Urban Underground, a new two-year project native uh, connecting artists from Toronto and London. Uh, the strong Canadian uh, showing this year is in part uh, being made possible by support from the Canada Council for the Arts and we are very grateful uh, for that. Now the arts have the potential to become increasingly central to our lives. I salute the achievement of LIFT in taking us one step further uh, in, uh, in promoting uh, the, a better understanding of the lives of others.